Well, hello everybody, uh, welcome to another video tutorial. My name is Peter Draculic and today I would like to show you how you could uh, model very easily this kind of uh, glasses using just uh, curves, Bezier curves, right? So let's go ahead and get started. First of all, let me show you here that we have this kind of model here and you can very easily model uh, this kind of organic, smooth, you know, frame and this form here, this kind of shape using just Bezier curves, alright? So let's go ahead and get started uh, by opening a new scene, alright? So, uh, first of all, we want to switch over to the front view, press 5, so we can also uh, we can also switch over to the orthographic view, shift A to add a curve circle. All right, now let's tap into that mode and rotate our circle around the X axis by 90 degrees. All right, and here it's going, this is going to be the, uh, the main part of the, uh, of the frame. So we get, just select those two vertices here and we scale them up along the x-axis, for example. So we need to be sure first about how we want our glasses to look like. All right. Okay, so we can try uh, rotating those vertices here. And if we, you cannot rotate those vertices here, because now you can see the, these are yellow here, meaning that they are of the type, uh, automatic, uh, you know, uh, type of, uh, of handles here. You can always press V and switch over from this pop-up menu to another type, like a line, for example. So I can select this vertex here and rotate it, move it. Rotate it again until, scale it even, until I can find a nice looking, you know, um, pair of glasses. And you can, just with those vertices, you can make any type of, almost any type of frame, okay, available. So let's move it somewhere, this somewhere here, let's scale it up a little bit. So something like that, let's say we are happy with this kind of shape here. All right, now. Next thing I want to do is to um, yeah, is to select this vertex here, shift the duplicate it, all right, and I want to place it somewhere here, and I want to make the rim now. Okay, for the rim you can select uh, again. You can press V and select switch over to the vector, let's say type of vertex. Now press down, hold down Control, all right, and click and you have created this nice line over here you can see that all right and this is going to be the half of the rim so now in order for us to have a better visual feedback let's go over here to the to the curve menu and let's give some thickness to these uh, curves here so make sure your curves are in the 3d of 3d type then change the field type into into full and then go down here where it writes bevel and add some depth to your uh, to your frame as you can see now we have a nice frame don't worry about the about the exact depth okay don't worry about that we can always change it later on i'm gonna show you how all right but just give it also some resolution of about let's say two or three all right now in order for us to have a better you know um, a better looping uh, frame we need to change some things and what we're going to do is to change the width uh, of this uh, of this rim here at this point by pressing alt test and alt test allows us to change the the width all right around a certain a certain uh, you know uh, node here so let's say something like so okay and now let's switch over to this frame the circular part select one 
vertex, any, uh, whatever, any, any, any vertex, and press Ctrl L, and now you have selected the connected vertices. Now you can change the thickness of this frame by holding, uh, by pressing, excuse me, Alt S, and by slowly adjusting the uh, the thickness of this frame somewhere here until you're happy with the result. All right. So let's play a little bit around with the rim here. You can rotate any point here, but just don't forget to press V and switch over to the aligned uh, type of node. And then you can rotate it and give it a nice cool shape, whatever. All right. Now, for us to have a better uh, idea about how this is going to look like, let's go ahead and add a mirror modifier to the to our glasses, so add modifier mirror. You can see now it doesn't look exactly the way we would like to. So uh, in order to uh, fix this, having selected this vertex here, the rightmost vertex, press Shift S and bring bring the cursor to the selected. Now tab out edit mode and now just press Control shift alt c and bring the origin to the 3d cursor so now we have something like so tap into edit mode select those vertices perhaps and just move it so we can give it a curvature here all right you get the meaning go ahead and add those rods here whatever so it switch over to the uh to the to the top view by pressing 7 on numpad and just select this vertex here, shift the duplicate it, bring it somewhere here, all right, and now press V, change the mode, the handle type to vector, and now hold down control and click somewhere here, and you have created this, all right, nice here, uh, whatever this around here, all right, now we can Press Ctrl L, select the two of them, moving them somewhere here by switching over to the side view, bring them somewhere here, select this vertex, press V again, change the, the type, uh, the handle type to aligned, and just rotate it a little bit, give it some curvature here, scale it down if needed. Alright, play around with that until you have a nice you know, flowing form here. Control, hold down control and add yet another uh, vertex here. Rotate it as needed, as you see fit. Perhaps press Alt S and scale it up. All right, and now let's go ahead and create yet another vertex. Control, add yet another vertex here and rotate it a little bit. Move it a little bit down here. Alt S to scale it down. To zero, all right, or close to that. Scale this as well. Move it somewhere here. All right, it's about finding just the right, you know, position for that kind of, uh, for that kind of vertex or handle. All right, so we can have something like so. All right, something like this, perhaps. So you have made this kind of, uh, of uh, shape here. All right, again, this is not going to be the perfect glasses, just something that we want to be close to what is going to be uh, good enough. So now, let's select by pressing Ctrl L all of them, Alt S, scale them up a little bit if, 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 if you think it's going to be better like so, all right, and something like that. And now, tap it to mode, select this vertex here, all right. And let me now shift the duplicate it. All right, right click to cancel, and now either extrude or control click and make yet another vertex somewhere here. Select by pressing control L both of them, of those vertices, vertices, and press Alt test to add this nice, you know, uh, element here. Okay, that usually the glasses have. All right. So something like that. Don't worry about the exact position and things like that. We're going to to um, 
to fix this after a while or right, something like so anyways all right perhaps move it somewhere here all right so we have something like that now now let's go ahead and create the lenses now and for the lenses tab it edit mode select one node of this circular frame Control l to select all the linked nodes and shift to duplicate them now we have a second curve here a second circle or oval all right right click to cancel and now press p to separate the curve and make yet another curve this one now go up here to the properties panel for that curve and bring the bevel amount all the way down to zero all right and now we can tab into the mode rather first while at the object mode press alt c and convert it to a mesh mesh from curve meta surf text so now we have here actually a mesh select all the vertices by pressing a and press just f to fill the vertices so you can see now we have something like that of course this is an end goal now here we want to triangulate it that's why we're going to uh, to press Control F and select from this pop-up menu triangulate faces or the shortcut Control T. So we now have something like so. All right. Now of course we want to, uh, to join uh, the, any trees twice into quads by pressing Alt J or from this menu over here. And now we want to tab out edit mode and smooth out the geometry now tap again into edit mode and have you selected all the faces we want to extrude them a little bit so let's go ahead and extrude them a little bit along the uh, y-axis perhaps giving some depth to the lenses select all of the connected geometry by pressing ctrl l and bring it somewhere here perhaps so now our glasses have some depth as well right and now we can go ahead and uh, add the modifier such as edge split modifier to our lenses so we can give it this nice sharp uh, you know definition this nice sharp look to our lenses all right so now next thing we want to do is to of course we, you can play around all the time with this uh, all this uh, you know um, uh, all these uh, you know shapes for example you can go here and start playing around with the rim uh, don't forget to add the clipping so you can you know join those vertices in the middle uh, you can always select those two of this little element those two vertices here and you can just separate them into another uh, curve now you can select that curve here all right and of course those two all right p to separate them all right now you can select that curve and press alt c to convert uh, this as well into a mesh and the reason i, I did that is because now i can uh, select the edges this uh, edges here and press f to fill them all right or, or even better you can press f and then you can press ctrl b to uh, to bevel them and then with uh, by by scrolling the wheel you can add some you know some uh, nice you know uh, smooth uh, you know curvature to your bevel here all right you can smooth out the geometry if you want and you get the meaning you can now uh, select all of them scale them along the z-axis uh, you know so you can give it that cool nice look here all right so things like that you get the meaning all right you can play around by adjusting all those things here all right and uh, you can always uh, define the shape the way you want whatever all right but the, the general idea is exactly that now let's go ahead and add some materials all right first of all let's join those two curves here because i all right so now we want them to be one curve and you can even go ahead and uh, add some materials to your uh, to your glasses for example you could uh, give a glass material here all right so let's select a new material for 
uh, let's name it glass material okay all right now let's go ahead and select this uh, rim here add the new material let's say metal or metallic metallic and now you can also add the metallic material to this uh, uh, as well here all right now uh, we want to go ahead and uh, add, uh, I mean, uh, and adjust the materials. First, switch over to the site the render engine, select use nodes, and add just a glass BSDF material here. For our case, in our case, that's it's gonna it's going uh, it's gonna be fine. And a glossy material for the um, for the for the rim and the metallic part okay so now if we're going ahead and we render oops, if we go ahead select all of those and move them somewhere here place the camera somewhere here rotate it a little bit around the z-axis for example and now we want to uh, turn this lamp very quickly into a sun lamp so we can have a better result and we press F12 you can see we have something like so which is another right, nice result for such you know a quick uh, actually uh, rendering let me check this material this is going to be also metallic and let's go ahead and add the mesh plane as well so we can have a better feedback you know it's gonna look all right something like so all right and let's now try to uh, to render again you can see glasses look rather nice for such a quick um, modeling you know for, for, all right so that was our tutorial for today I hope you enjoyed it and you uh, learn something out from this. If you like this, don't forget to subscribe. See you next time with another hopefully interesting topic. Hopefully soon. Until then, have fun and goodbye.